Hello and welcome to Fair Start's All Staff Safety Training for Q1 of 2021. So our agenda for today, we are going to define ergonomics and why it is important. And then we will kind of split off into two sections. So ergonomics for staff who work at prep tables in the packaging areas and in our kitchens. And then we'll also talk about ergonomics for staff who work at desks. Um, and at the end, there will be a short quiz so that we can gather an attendee list um, so that we know who was able to attend. Uh, don't worry, it's only three questions long and uh, there's a little QR code. So it'll be easy for you to take a photo with and uh, get that completed. So what is ergonomics? Um, the word ergonomics comes from the Greek word ergon, which means work, and nomos, which means laws. It's essentially the laws of work or science of work. Good ergonomic design removes incompatibilities between the work and the worker and creates the optimal work environment. Why do we need to have an optimal work environment? At its core, workplace ergonomics is really about building a better workplace. When jobs are designed to match the capabilities of people, it results in better work being produced and a better experience for the person doing it, like you, for example. There are many benefits of um, using ergonomics in the workplace, uh, lower costs, higher productivity, better product quality, improved employee engagement, and something that's very important to Fair Start specifically is building a better safety culture. So starting off with uh, our staff who work at prep tables, whether that's in the packaging areas or the kitchens, um, we first want to talk about back postures. So, you know, most of this work is being done while you're standing up. Um, and there's two different types of back postures. There's awkward back postures, which can yield, can lead to injury, um, and then there are neutral back postures, which is what we're striving for. So awkward back postures can be leaning forward, turning around, looking over your shoulder, um, bending at the neck from one side to the other. Um, however, we're going for a neutral back posture, which is standing up as straight as you possibly can with your head over your shoulders, um, shoulders over your pelvis and over your feet. And so the guideline um, is a recommended limit of two hours per day having any type of awkward posture. Um, and so, you know, having your back or your neck bent uh, is considered to be an awkward posture and you would want to limit that to two hours per day. Um, and that doesn't mean two consecutive hours. It means over, say, an eight hour shift um, that you would um, be looking to have these limit these postures to two hours out of those eight hours. Um, this also relates to where your arms are. So if your elbows are above shoulder height, that is also considered an awkward posture and you'll want to limit those to two hours per day as well. Um, and then in the bottom right, you'll see the neck. Um, so we're striving to have neutral neck in order to not injure the neck. Um, and so having your neck bent at all, again, is that uh, limit of two hours per day is the recommendation to avoid injury. So ways to improve awkward back postures, and this is fair start specific. Um, so we had uh, some representatives come out and actually assess our packaging and kitchen areas um, to try to help our staff um, have a more optimal work environment in order to reduce the amount of injuries we have. So um, on the left, you can see um, if you are packaging or working with something on a tray, um, there's kind of two ways to improve your posture there. One is spinning the tray around when you're halfway done instead of reaching across the full tray uh, or positioning the tray in a landscape instead of a portrait so that they can be more easily accessed. Um, another idea is to tilt the bin. Um, so a bin that you're frequently grabbing items out of, if it's tilted, it makes it easier to reach into the bin and pick out an item. Safe lifting is important, and this is very true for any position here at Fair Start. Um, so on the left, you will see that the ideal lifting area is between the mid thigh and the mid chest. And this is because this is the area of greatest strength and is the lowest risk for getting hurt. However, sometimes you need to lift things that are not in that ideal area. Um, and those could be overhead lifts, uh, lifts at the face level, or lifts at the floor to mid shin area. 
um, where you are about two times more likely to get hurt uh, than the ideal area. So keeping this in mind when you are lifting things, whether they're really light or heavy, um, that you want to be lifting in the ideal area between the mid thigh to the mid chest. Transitioning into ergonomics for people who work at desks. Um, so this is a graphic that shows what is good posture for an individual who is sitting at a desk. I'll quickly go through each of the items. Um, so the table or desk height should be about the height of your elbow. Uh, your wrist should be in a neutral position. Your head upright and over your shoulders. Eyes looking slight downward without bending from the neck. The backrest, if you have one on the chair, should support the natural curve of the lower back. Your elbow should be bent at 90 degrees with your forearms horizontal, and your shoulders should be relaxed, not raised or you know, stressed. Um, thighs should be horizontal with a 90 degree to 110 degree angle at the hip. And finally, your feet should be supported flat on the floor. And if this isn't possible, then feet should be fully supported by a footrest things to consider. So these are questions that I get frequently um, about individuals who work at desks. So sitting versus standing, which one is better? Well, truthfully, neither sitting nor standing for too long are good for your health. However, alternating between standing and sitting will lead to ideal health outcomes and fewer injuries. So how are ways that you can avoid sitting and standing for too long? Um, seems simple, but just as a reminder, walk around when possible, you know, get up from your desk, whether that's a sitting desk or a standing desk and, you know, um, go take a look out the window or, um, go say hi to one of your coworkers if you're working on site. Um, there's also the 20, 20, 20 rule, which we're going to look at in this next slide. So the 20, 20, 20 rule is to prevent digital eye strain. And so what it is, is you take a 20 second break about every 20 minutes and you look at something 20 feet away. So if you have a window nearby, that's kind of easy way to look at something that's 20 feet or more away. Um, if you don't have a window, you know, say you're um, a chef in your office, you know, stepping out into the hallway and looking down the hallway and seeing something 20 feet away. Um, this is really important, especially for us who are working, uh, looking at computers and screens uh, pretty frequently throughout the day, and this will help prevent digital eye strain. So that was our quick safety training. Thank you so much for watching. Please pause the video here uh, so that you can take this three question quiz. One question is, what is your name? So really it's a two question quiz. And the reason for this quiz is so that we can know who attended. Um, and if you showed this video to a group of individuals, please send an email to help-hr at fairstart.org, uh, letting us know who attended um, so that we have an accurate list. So you can use your smartphone to take a photo of the QR code, which will take you to the link, or you can use the tiny URL, um, which is much shorter than, than a typical link uh, to be able to take that. So go ahead and pause um, to take this. And thank you, that was all. So thank you so much for attending our Q1 2021 safety training. And just as a reminder, if you need any additional equipment to perform the job without injuring yourself, please email me at help-hr at fairstart.org to submit a request for an accommodation. Thank you so much and have a great day.